Hello, in this video I will show you how to use a toolbar or a dock panel in WPF. Quite a simple thing to do and might actually be quite a useful thing, but it is a bit tricky to understand how to actually use it. So first of all, let's see what it does. Now, you see I have this whole tray, uh, this is actually a dock panel to as you'll later see but I can move this to the side and I'll see four buttons now if I move it to the left I see only one button but the the other ones they still exist if I expand it I'll find my other button so this is basically what your toolbar what your dot panel will do what will help you uh, do so let's see let's take a look at the code it's all done in the XAML you don't need to mess with C sharp on this occasion Okay, and the main thing here, the main thing is the dock panel, okay? So this whole thing goes into a dock panel. Toolbar goes into a dock panel, right? But not exactly. As you can see, to make this work, you first put in a toolbar tray into a dock panel, okay? You put in toolbar tray into a dock panel. Now toolbar tray is the whole thing, okay, and it holds toolbars. And toolbars will be, as you can see, from left to right, basically this one selection that you can actually uh, make smaller or larger by moving this second one, okay. So not the first one, but by moving the second one, you make it smaller or larger. And then you can expand that as it changes the size. But again, you have, first of all, dock panel, you have toolbar tray, and then you have the toolbar itself. You will need to set the general height and width or the position or whatever it may be, the size basically of the dock panel, and then you will fit in your toolbar tray and your toolbars inside this. So this is quite important. You will need to adjust the sizes. As you can see, it can be quite useful. In this case, we have buttons. You might have something else inserted in there and it might actually be useful. Now, if you want to learn more about WPF, take a look at my WPF course available now with exercises, with examples, and also take a look at my new WPF book, which will be useful for learning WPF, but also for referencing WPF in the future. Also subscribe to this channel and support this channel on Patreon.